Welcome to Sar Trail. Welcome to New Mexico. I'm Jeff. We're on an eight day overlanding journey that's getting us out of Colorado because it's negative temperatures there. The evening lows have been like minus 10, 15, even 20 degrees. No thank you. Where we're at right now, it's the low tonight's gonna be like 24 degrees, which is at least a minimum 30 degrees in the positive direction for us. So we're loving that. And we are really glad for this trip. This trip's gonna take us to dispersed camping sites in New Mexico, all over Southern Arizona. We're gonna meet up with some friends that are gonna camp with us. Man, we are really excited. We're gonna show you this gorgeous place in the morning. This place is unique. We kind of accidentally found it and you're gonna to wanna to see it. And then you're gonna follow with this on our journey because we're not in our Hummer H3, it's still in the shop. It's getting, well, people have commented, hey, you're not in your Hummer H3, I hope your Hummer's doing okay, I hope you're not getting rid of it, I hope, I hope the engine's not dead. Don't worry, the engine's fine. It has no mechanical issues whatsoever other than the fact that it is going to become the steroid monster Hummer H3 by the time we're done with all the modifications we're doing to it. We're making upgrades, we're not doing repairs. So we're super excited, but we're giving the guys that are doing the, the work, the shop that's doing the work, plenty of time to just get it done right. And we're in a cool new vehicle too, we're gonna show you. It's a loner, kind of a loner. We'll show you that in the morning as well. But right now it's time to get some dinner. So tonight we are making chicken over our campfire and I'm getting ready to throw some salt and pepper on it. All right, we're up in the tent, finally. What an ordeal to get the electric blankets and all of that stuff set up. We had a power inverter go out on us. We had an electric blanket go out on us. So we're down to, well, luckily we brought a backup electric blanket. So we have, what is it, the 12 volt? No, the, yeah, Bailey's running on the 12 volt electric blanket on a couple extension cords running off the trailer. So we are running off of the power inverter on the trailer running our 110 electric blanket. So there's, on the outside of here, there's power cords and extensions and stuff going all over the place. But either way, it's working out good. We, we finally, we got up in the tent too, and it's not even that cold. We probably went to all that trouble for nothing, but maybe by sunrise, when it dips down to 24, 25 degrees, we're gonna be glad that we have the, the electric blanket. So either way, it all worked out. You know, these are one of those things you, you get out, you're trying something you haven't done before, you're doing it on the fly, and man, all the wheels fall off and you make the best of it. So that's just how it goes. You ready for some sleep, baby? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm really tired. Tomorrow we get to actually get up and appreciate this place we're at, because this campsite is gorgeous, but we kind of got here around dark time, so we didn't get to see too much of it. But in the morning, we're gonna catch a sunrise and take a look at it.
so this is a place we were looking just a place to kind of camp for the night and just something that had maybe something cool to see in the morning we weren't really expecting this this is super cool what is this place called city of rocks state park in new mexico yeah and it's beautiful really really beautiful the the campsites it's all reserved there's no dispersed camping i mean it's kind of like primitive camping style but they're all like designated sites but they're really far spaced in between most of them so where we're at there's nobody yeah. and granted it's winter time so there's really nobody here anyway but well, the electric sites on the other side are cool but out here in the primitive it's there's nobody yeah there's kind of like a parking lot campground style sites that have electricity to them we're in more of the primitive section which is really beautiful but now it's time to pack up, hit yeah. the road. We got another stop. Is this Arizona or we're getting into Arizona today? I mean, sorry, New Mexico or we're getting into Arizona? No, we get into Arizona today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hop on the trail and we're gonna go see what we can find. Yeah. All right, let's pack up and go. A few hours later, we were on the trail in Arizona. Arizona is a state that we have camped in several times in the past few years, but we've never had enough time to really explore much. This trail is in southern Arizona, a few hours east of Tucson. We were in a four-door, long-bed Ford F-250. For that reason, we've been a little careful selecting the trails that we go down. This is a great truck, but it lacks the approach, breakover, and departure angles of our Hummer. It also lacks in ground clearance, turning radius, and it doesn't sit on 35-inch MTs. But this full-size truck offers a lot of interior space and incredible towing power. It pulls our turtleback trailer over mountain passes with incredible ease. This is less of a 4x4 trail and more of a forest road, with only a few areas where four-wheel drive was needed. Just before sundown, we found an awesome campsite. As darkness set in, I got our lights on and Bailey used our shovel to remove all of the cow patties from our campsite. We made it to Arizona, camp is set up. We are in a really gorgeous place. There's mountains over here to the side and just massive amounts of desert over to the other side. Really beautiful. There's not really any clouds in the sky. We got a sliver of the second day of the new moon, it looks like. Yeah, so we should have a lot of stars to see tonight. We're gonna cook some dinner over the fire that we got going. We're gonna enjoy, it's not supposed to be too cold tonight, so we're gonna enjoy a beautiful night together. What's for dinner tonight, baby? I think chicken again. Chicken again. I think it's so cold where we've been that we're kind of eating what's thawed. 
we have some steaks we're going to do in the next night or two, but they just weren't thought. So we're going to stick with the chicken theme. I think it's going to be great. Chicken is looking great. We got two fires going now. We got the one that we're cooking on and we got one that Bailey has made on the other side. And you know what? We're glad to have it. We're glad for the extra warmth because the temperature's starting to drop a little bit now. It's not gonna be too bad tonight. I think 30 is our low, which we're not gonna hit probably until right before sunrise. But anything we can do to stay warm, you know, this time of year, it's, it's always a struggle when you're living outdoors just to find that warmth unless you're somewhere like in South Florida which I would go for right now, but it's so far away. Good morning. I'll tell you what, we slept really well last night. The low, I think, was maybe 38 degrees. So not bad at all. No electric blankets for us. We just went straight up with the tent, a couple blankets. We were good to go. Woke up this morning and really got to see this amazing, what is it, like High Plains Desert, would you call it? Mm -hmm. All the different cactus and the different cassia senna's and different plants a lot of those are the trees are defoliated now and the shrubs are defoliated because of the time of year but man cows are in the background they've been kind of 
traipsing through near our campsite here for a while. Pretty cool to see them. But, and then the mountains with the rocks, and I guess some snow came through here maybe in the past week or so because the high peaks over off to the side have a little bit of snow left on them still, but at the temperatures we're getting to today, I imagine that's all gonna be gone. First time on this trip, we're gonna be breaking out into shorts, but we're gonna get a shower first right after breakfast. How's breakfast doing, baby? Good. All right, we're almost ready to eat. Looks like we're gonna have some turkey sausage, some avocado, some scrambled eggs. We're just gonna enjoy this gorgeous desert. Breakfast was really good. It's time for us to get a shower. You guys saw us in Arches National Park, if you've seen that video we did. And I'll just say, if you haven't been to Arches, put it on your bucket list and plan to stay for days because it's amazing. Go back if you haven't seen that video, check it out. We really try to show not everything in Arches. We weren't there long enough, but got to be there for maybe a week and a half to show everything. But in that, on that trip when we were over there, our, what do you call it? Mixing valve or tempering valve on our water heater went out. I think it was like a freeze thing that something happened. Either way, the valve went out. So we were not able to shower on that trip. You know, you get a little bit of hot water, but every time the pump kicks on, the water pump kicks on this, and you just get a jolt of really cold water. So not good for showering. So we're going back. Man, if you've watched Sar Trail over the years, we're digging way back in the archives of Sar Trail to this. <laughs> Natalie's looking at me laughing. To this Dr. Prepare shower tent bag. And we're going to use that here. This one, I'm going to always carry it with us because plumbing stuff, electrical stuff, anything could go wrong and then you can't shower. But this thing's one of those really basic things. You fill it full of water, it's got a gauge on the side, it's got a pressure pump here on the bottom, you pump with your foot, and then you got your hose here, you just pressurize it, and then you can just shower inside our new shower tent. Hopefully this hose isn't gonna leak. It's been a while. It doesn't look great. We may or may not be getting showers. We're gonna pressurize this thing and see if our hose is compromised. That looks pinched. So we're heating up some water right now. We're gonna also get some hot water out of the trailer. But we're gonna make sure we get nice warm water in here and hopefully this hose will work on this thing and then we're good to go. There you go. Let's get this guy out. So we've done this over the years with this shower bag and, and similar shower bags too, where we've heated water over fireplace, fire, I'm sorry, fire pit, We've heated water through the sun, which that takes forever. Now we got an easy way to heat up water. So I can't remember if this doctor prepared, it's been so long since we purchased it. I think it's four, it might be five gallons, but I know it's at least four gallons. Which really for us, it's enough to get two showers. We have done three showers on it before, like real quick, kind of rinse off. Or, you know, you just go ahead and we can refill it again. It's really easy to just fill it back up. But all three of us are going to get a shower this morning. And we're going to be feeling a whole lot better. Now that the weather's nice, we finally found warm weather. All right, so it's shower time. This is our brand new Darche shower cube. We changed this one out from the 23-0 that this trailer came with. A couple different reasons. This one is taller, so it's easier to get a taller person in there without being exposed to everything around. It's got a top on it, which is removable. If you want to take it off like a day like today and we're out dispersed camping, there's no one around. We could go without the top on, but a little bit of a breeze. We want to just kind of keep the breeze out, keep it nice and warm in there. So come in inside. So let me show you how we got it set up. So you can see on the ground, we got this super lush putting green turf that we carry with us. So right now we're using the Dr. Prepare shower bag. We got it all pressurized. That thing is super awesome. It's good to go. And then in here, it's just all dark out, black out, so no silhouettes. We could turn on the LED light strip, which is right here if we wanted to. Even at nighttime, lights on in here, no one can see silhouettes of anybody showering or using this thing for anything else. So we're loving it, and now it's time to do our first shower in it and see how much awesome it really is. So I really like the new shower tent. It's a pretty big upgrade from the 23-0, which was already pretty great because, you know, it has easy setup and tear down. 
But this having the roof on and the floor covered, we were able to take showers in you know fairly cool weather without freezing to death. So a pretty big upgrade for us. Join us next Friday as we meet up with some friends and make some pretty cool modifications to the Turtleback trailer. <laughs>